Madeline McMillan rolled up to Children's Home Society like one of Santa's most generous elves. Two cars brimming with 538 toys for this social service agency dedicated to improving the lives of children. Madeline is no stranger to giving, which we found out when we first visited her at Frontier Middle School. Madeline showed us the Facebook page she created called Madeline's Helping Heart. And then this one is at the Portland Rescue Mission. As Madeline showed us photos of her various philanthropic efforts, her mom explains how it all started with a trip to the Portland Rescue Mission. Madeline's, she's always been really tender-hearted, but a couple of years ago she came to my husband and I and was like, I want to volunteer somewhere. And it was around the holidays, we had just had a conversation with our kids about wanting to make sure um, that they understood how blessed we were. Um, so we thought it was just kind of like a fleeting moment, went and volunteered at the Oregon Food Bank. We all had a really good time, but Madeline came out of it just incredibly passionate. She was like, I want to go more, I want to do it again, what else can we do? And it just kind of spiraled from there. Since then, Madeline has donated coats and blankets to the rescue mission, hundreds of books and get well cards to children at Dornbecker Children's Hospital, and toys for tots. Madeline, always soft-spoken, says her inspiration is simple. Because I want to make people feel appreciated. Frontier Middle School principal Griffin Payton says he didn't know about Madeline's quiet philanthropy until it really started to take off. We were just all amazed because um, we hadn't known that it was going on and, and we were just really excited that we had a student at our school that was so selfless and caring that these types of things were happening behind the scenes. Peyton was so taken by Madeline's servant leadership that he created the Silverback Service Award. The inaugural award went to Madeline, and it will be given each year to students at Frontier who go above and beyond to give back to their community. She's embodying what we want all of our students to see that's important to be a community member is to be service-oriented, and, and it, was, it was great. We, we got to acknowledge Madeline and our students, her peers, got to see her being acknowledged for that very purpose. And, we want to continue to focus on that because it's, it's a really important aspect of what it means to be a student here at Frontier and a member of our community. For her latest toy drive, Madeline baked pies to sell, set up a GoFundMe page, took cash donations, and put up donation boxes at several local businesses. Staff members at Children's Home Society say the 538 toys will go a long way. It's almost dreamlike. It's so amazing to consider that this kiddo has put so much effort in and understands the value of giving back to the community. Hopefully um, she'll live with a great idea of how much this is going to impact the people that we work with. Children's Home Society staff gave Madeline a framed photo and flowers as a thank you, but Madeline says giving back is its own reward. It made me feel really good because I know that they'll be happy and I'll be happy that they're happy too, so we, it was really fun doing it. Good job, Madeline.